Golf is a game full of unique challenges that keeps millions of us coming back for more. But what keeps the passion alive for the top tour pros? Sharing the love today, England's Matthew Southgate. I first fell in love with golf at a very young age. My dad was a big influence on my golf. I'd say that I liked golf and was into golf when I was younger, but I got taken to the Open in 1999 at Carnoustie when Paul Laurie won. Dad was a member at Carnoustie, so we had some good contacts like marshals and stuff to get me inside the ropes and you know on the practice ground and stuff and I'd say that that Sunday at that Open in 99 is where I really fell in love with it and decided this is where I'm going, this is what I want to do with my life and you know I was only sort of 10 years old at that time. I'd say yeah, personally to me my dad was the biggest influence um, player wise definitely Sergio Garcia. I met Sergio that year in 99 he was out at the qualifying for the Open he said some pretty inspirational things to me and uh, I've never forgotten them and and that, that really drove me to get to sort of where he was because he was like the up and coming kid and I, that's what I wanted to do so he was a big influence as well. It was never a defining moment for me to, to decide that this is what I want to do. I think I was just, it's a silly thing to say but I feel like I was almost born to do it. It's like my natural environment to be on a golf course. That's when I'm, that's when I'm at my best and there's nothing that I do off, you know, off the course that's anywhere near as good as what I can achieve on the course. And, it's like, it's, like, it's like being an animal in your, in your natural habitat. As soon as I'm on that golf course, I've become, a, I've become the, the most natural, sort of easygoing you know, person that I can be. You know, things come naturally to me. If there's a tree in the way and I have to get a draw, I don't think about it. I just aim over, the, over right and it comes back. It's, a, it's, quite a, it's quite a natural place for me to be. I've fallen out of, out of love for game for short periods, but I'd say that in a weird way, it's probably like having an argument with a family member where you know that you're seriously upset with them for that five, ten minutes or a couple of days, but deep down you're always going to love them and they're always going to be your family. I'd say that's similar to me on a golf course. I hit one in a pond that I hate the game for five, six minutes, but I know deep down I love it and I'll be coming back anyways. I still love the game of golf, I think, because it doesn't matter how old you get or the experience that you've had, you never know what's coming next. I mean, I could, you could win one week by five and then you can miss the cup by five the next week and then... You know, it's that it's the mystery of not knowing. I think you never know what this game's got up its sleeve next, and I think hitting all the balls and working really hard to find out what happens next is the most intriguing thing for me. And finding out how good you could be and how good you'll be in your best week. You might play be a pro for 20 years and then look back at the end of it and go, "Wow, I was, I was seriously good that one week." And I think it's that mystery of golf. You never know what's going to happen next. It's, it keeps me in love with it.